Before Windows was invented and the mouse pointer came into use, there was DOS operating systems on personal and home computers, and using command prompt commands, and command line programs were the only way to operate a computer. So why do we still have command prompts in the 21st century? Well, sometimes the command prompt is the only way to access computer files, where a head crash or other event has damaged the graphical user interface of Windows or Linux, or even a Mac. In other cases, large enterprises might use command line versions of programs to rapidly deploy and install new applications or fixes to hundreds or thousands of users, without having to talk each user for installation instructions. Welcome back everyone. Today I will be sharing the best CMD tricks that every Windows user must know. CMD the command prompt. Yes, the black screen with the blinking text. I know it might seem little scary, but trust me, mastering a few key command can unlock a whole new level of control over your PC. So let's get started. In order to bring up the command prompt from your desktop, you have to click on your Windows search, type CMD or command prompt. Now right click on the command prompt and click run as admin so that you should have all the permission to run all kind of command. So the very first command that I have here is the ping command. That is a very useful command in order to ping any kind of network adapter, any kind of website to find out and troubleshoot many kind of problem. For example, let's say that you have any kind of Wi-Fi problem. You're not able to connect to your Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi adapter is missing. So to assure that the problem is with the hardware or the software, what you can do, you can type a simple command that is ping space and now type the IP address of your network adapter that is 127.0.0.1. And now if you hit the enter key, and if you get the reply from this IP address, that means there is no problem with the hardware and there is some problem with the software only, or I can say from the windows only. But in case if you don't get a reply from this IP address, that means that there is some problem with your hardware and you will have to go ahead and fix or replace it. Okay, so now next what you can do with the ping command, you can ping any kind of website. So many time you are connected to the Wi-Fi, but you're not able to use the internet. So in order to find out that, whether you have the connectivity between the website between the internet and your device or not. So you can ping any kind of website, for example, if I want to ping a Google, so I have to type ping space and then simply type www.google.com. And now if I hit the enter key, so you can see I'm getting the reply from this IP address that belongs to google.com, and that clearly mean and indicate that I have the internet connectivity and that is the reason. I would I was able to connect to the google.com server. Now next there is amazing use of ping command as well, like you can ping any kind of DNS server address to find out that which DNS address will be perfect for you. So now if you watch my videos, you might have seen that. I ping many kind of DNA server address to find out that where I'm getting the lower ping. So let's say there are two popular DNS server address that is Google and the Cloudflare. Okay. So if you wanted to change your DNS server address and you are confused that which DNS server address you have to go with like Google or Cloudflare, then what you can do you can ping both the DNS server address. I will type ping space for Google. I have to type 8.8.8.8 and now if I hit the enter key, so it will ping the Google DNS server address. And it will let me know that what kind of ping I'm getting. So here I'm getting the average ping of 34 milliseconds. So what I can do, I can also ping Cloudflare. So I will type ping 1.1.1.1 that is the Cloudflare DNS address. And now if I hit the enter key, so you can see, I'm getting the 4 milliseconds ping from the Cloudflare, that is far better than the Google. So now my doubt is clear that, for me the Cloudflare DNS address is better than the Google. So this is a very useful command that is ping, and every Windows user must know about it. And now, the next command is another amazing command, that will be, be helping you to discover, or install, update, or remove, any kind of software from your computer. So let's say if you want to install any kind of antivirus and you're not sure how to install it or what kind of software you should install it then what you can do, you can type a simple command that is winget space search space 
and then you have to type the category name of that software. So let's see, if I'm looking for the antivirus, I will type antivirus, and hit the enter key. So now it will be loading up, and list me, all kind of available free antivirus program, that I can go ahead and download it. So you can see we have Avis free antivirus, AVG antivirus, then we have the web Rudy set nod, and then we have the ransom snare malware bytes. Now whichever you want to install, what you have to do, you simply need to copy the ID number of that software. So select the ID number, press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now again, come to the command prompt and type another command, that is, wing it, space. And now instead of search, type install, and give a space, and paste the ID number. Now, if you hit the enter key, so you will find that, it has started downloading, and very quickly it will be starting, the installation of the antivirus program on my computer. And you will not have to do anything, it will automatically download the application for you. Similarly, if you want to remove any kind of application then you have to type the same command wing it, give a space, and instead of install you have to type remove, and then you have to type, the ID number of that particular application or program, that you want to remove it. Alright, so this is a very useful command, and in the same way, instead of antivirus you can install any kind of soft software, that is available on the internet. Okay now the next command is very useful for the people, who are very concerned about their privacy and the security, and many of you might be thinking of hiding any kind of folder, without using any kind of application or tool. For example, let's say, on my file explorer in the document section, I create a older over here by the name tests. And now let's say that, I want to hide this folder. So hiding this folder will be hiding everything that is inside this folder. Okay, so this can be on any location, it can be on your desktop. It can be in the download, it can be in the pictures, or wherever it has been located, you can easily hide it. So what you have to do, just bring up that particular location. And then you have to click on the address box at the top, now type CMD, and hit the enter key. So now, this will bring up the command prompt in the document, only where you have your folder. Okay, so in order to hide this folder there is a very simple command that you have to type that is ATTRIB space, plus H, space, plus S, space, plus R. Again give a space and then type the name of the folder that you want to hide. So on my end it's test, so I will type test, and now if I hit the enter key, you will find if I refresh it, and again go to the document, so the folder has been hidden now, so simply by just typing this small command. You can hide any kind of file, or folder from your Windows 10 and 11. Now you might have a question that, how to bring back this folder, so what you have to do, instead of plus, you have to replace the plus sign, with the minus sign, so I will replace it, and rest everything will be the same, and again if you hit the enter key. So you can see that, it brings up the test folder again, alright so this is the best, and the easiest way to hide, or unhide any kind of folder from your computer, without using any kind of application, or software. Okay so now our last command is another very useful command, that is the disk partition, so once you're in the command prompt, you have a to type disk part. Hit the enter key. And now this will take you to the disk partition where you can run multiple command related to your disk. Okay so for example, if you want to know that, how many disks are connected to your computer. So type list space disk and hit the enter key. You can see that one disk has been connected. Disk zero. Let you know what kind of size it contained, what kind of the free space. So if you have any kind of issues, or if you want to do anything with any kind of disk then you will have to select that disk first. So let's say, I have a problem with this disk, that contained 476 GB of space. So I will type, select, disk, give a space, and then type the number, so it's number here 0. So I will type 0 and hit the enter key. Now, this disk will be selected. So if you want to perform any kind of a command, like, if you want to clean this drive, you want to format it, you want to assign a new drive letter then you can type that command. I will share all these command in the description, where you can find all the useful command, that you can run using the disk partition.
Alright guys so these are the best, and the most useful command that, many of you might not be knowing about it, and it's a very useful command and you should remember it, and you should know it that when exactly, and how exactly, you have to use it. So guys, that's all for today. Please do like, comments and share on this video, and subscribe the channel if you get benefits from this video. Thanks for watching.